hey, I'm at the Home Depot in Fayetteville, Georgia. I haven't been here in a while. But, you know, I was uh, thinking about these cabinets. Um, and well, actually, I'm here with my parents. And my mom is that way. And my stepdad's that way. Um, I'm the driver. But anyway, um, I was thinking about these cabinets. And, like, there's, they have 10% off here. And they've got a sale item down there, also 10% off. And... I'm thinking, what happens if they don't sell any of these great big crates? And I'm just thinking about the people that could use them, right, uh, for different purposes. And I was also thinking about the homeless, actually, who could use crates like this and uh, and other, just people who need them. What happens if they don't sell them? And I ask in the context of Nordstrom, which has... Or had I don't know if they still do the Nordstrom rack probably still do and the idea of the Nordstrom rack was to have a warehouse where Nordstrom would sell the items that you didn't buy in their main store right and they would be sold for a lot cheaper okay um, does Home Depot have a Home Depot rack I haven't heard about one this is a rack you know but I'm thinking it'd be a great idea to have something like that or just some super cheap warehouse within a warehouse where you could uh, get items that people hadn't bought. This is, you know, no one's going to buy all this stuff, okay? It's just not happening. I mean, it is great stuff. What happens with these wa washers too, right? This is, look at this. Maytag. You know, that makes me think of my, my buddy Lars who used to fix Maytags. He was a Maytag repairman. Passed away this year. 57th birthday was three days ago. But he would have been 57. Oh, man. But you know what I'm saying? What happens to all this stuff? Look at this. By the way, happy holidays on the way to a Merry Christmas. All this. <laughs> yes, it's big. But, but think about it. That's why I'm panning, so that you have it seared in your brain just how much stuff is in this place. You know what I mean? Wow, look at this. Man, oh man. No sale item there, though. We're there. Hey, what? what? Well, here's... What happens to the items that nobody buys? What do you mean, what items? All up here, like, for I'm just saying, like, right up here. Like, for example, if you don't sell them, do you have, like, a where, uh, like a Nordstrom rack or warehouse where they're sold for, like, cut rate or something like that? What do you do if nobody buys one of these? Uh, what happens is it, it'll go, it, it, the, uh, it'll be clearanced out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then at a certain point, the management makes some decisions on what they're going to do with it. Yeah, see, the, but see, that's that, and and therein lay my idea, like a uh, a super cheap warehouse within the warehouse. Okay, you know, you're talking to the wrong person. Oh no, I'm just spinning an idea. Oh, it's not a bad, oh. it's an idea. You yeah, know, it's yeah, an idea. No, they've been there. Yeah, they've yeah, there. they did that before. They've been there. Oh, didn't work. Well, no, it don't work because uh, it comes. They come back to the store. Uh huh. I get you because okay. it didn't. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. No, that don't work. Then give them the homeless huh? charity on okay. Giving Tuesday. We've been there. You been there? Did that? Yes. Didn't work. Didn't work. Dang it! Hey, thanks a lot, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, it was a great idea. I thought. <laughs>